Welcome to the Festival of Student Achievement, FOSA, more commonly referred to as FASA. I always think of this annual event as priming the pump for the end of the year experiences culminating in commencement. And while the Festival of Student Achievement will be taking place virtually this year, there is still lots to celebrate. Lots to celebrate in terms of the accomplishment of our students, along with their companions, the faculty and staff. The accomplishments that have taken place in the classroom and outside of the classroom. Those curricular and extracurricular activities. So let's enjoy these accomplishments. Let's celebrate these folks. I think you could say, and it's fair to say, that I'm a big fan of Festival of Student Achievement. Enjoy. It's my honor to welcome all faculty, staff, guests, and especially our students who are the focus of this Festival of Student Achievement. We will begin by sharing the award recipients from the College of Arts and Sciences. The Teaching Assistant Program in France offers the opportunity to work in France for seven months, teaching English to French students of all ages. Program participants teach in public schools across all regions of metropolitan France and the overseas departments of France, such as French Guinea, Guadalupe, Martinique, and Réunion. This is a highly sought after position. And for the 21-22 school year, Hannah Clements has been selected by the French Embassy to teach in Nantes, France. The American Chemical Society Division of Analytical Chemistry and the journal Analytical Chemistry are pleased to sponsor this award. It's intended to encourage students interested in analytical chemistry and to recognize students who display an aptitude for a career in the field. The recipient of the American Chemical Society Undergraduate Award in Analytical Chemistry is Alex Linninger. The American Chemical Society Undergraduate Award in Physical Chemistry is to recognize outstanding achievement by undergraduate students in physical chemistry and to encourage further pursuits in the field. This student demonstrated excellence in physical chemistry and related fields based on research, coursework, and dedication. Help me congratulate Katie White. The American Chemical Society Division of Inorganic Chemistry Undergraduate Award recognizes achievements by undergraduates in inorganic chemistry and to encourage further study in the field. This student demonstrated excellence in inorganic chemistry at the undergraduate level based on research, coursework, and motivation. The award this year goes to Claire Bain. Dr. Reva Servos, longtime professor of chemistry at Rockhurst, gave an endowed prize to the chemistry department to encourage junior and senior students, especially women, majoring in chemistry. Please help me congratulate the award recipients of the Reva R. Servos Chemist Chemistry Prize, Claire Bain, Brittany Lubeck. The Molecular Biology Award is given in honor of Dr. Edward Kaz, Professor Emeritus in the Biology Department and longstanding member of the Rockhurst community. This year's Edward Koss Award for Academic Achievement in Cell and Molecular Biology, they are Anna Allison Delgado, Anna Galagos, Salome Inge. The Macrobiology Award is given in honor of Dr. Marshall Anderson, a full professor and past member of the biology department who retired in the spring of 2012. This year's Marshall Anderson Award for Academic Achievement in Macrobiology is awarded to Amber Heath and Emerald Tom. 
The Barbara Wynn Outstanding Biology Student Award is named for a biology major who died shortly after her graduation from Rockhurst. It honors graduating seniors majoring in biology who have demonstrated academic achievement and service to the department. This year's recipients are Emma Martinez and Daniel Zamora. The Father Aloysius Breen S.J. English Award is presented by the English faculty members of the College of Arts and Sciences to the senior English major who has shown the greatest achievement throughout all four years. Congratulations goes to Aaron Bacchus. The Charles M. Kovich Dramatist Award is an annual prize established by grateful students in honor of an English faculty member and alumnus who instituted writing courses in the English department's writing program. This award is given to the student who submits the best original script for a play or screenplay each year. This year's recipient is Kevin Morris. The Psychology Department presents the Michael D. O'Connor Psychology Medal to the senior student who excels in classroom leadership and is involved in research. The recipient is determined by the department faculty. The award also recognizes a longtime friend and faculty member of Rockhurst University, Professor Michael D. O'Connor. The recipient this year is Bryce Belusek. The Rossner Philosophy Medal is for the best essay in philosophy submitted in an annual competition. Help me congratulate James Burns. The Schreibner Medal is awarded to a student who has made outstanding contributions in the area of student publications. Congratulations to Amarvir Guman. The Ignatian Student Teaching Award is given to those students who actively seek to promote Ignatian pedagogy. These students consistently model the ideals and principles of the School of Education conceptual framework and the Missouri Teaching Standards. These students live out the spirit of St. Ignatius of Loyola through our core values of contemplation and action, cura personalis, finding God in all things, magis, reflection and discernment, and wisdom. Please help me congratulate Michaela Meehan, Lexi Ostrander, and Margaret Young. The School of Education awards the Arupe Service Learning Award to those students who demonstrate outstanding academic performance and commitment to community partnership during a service learning course. These students embrace the ideal of being men and women for others in the Jesuit tradition. Congratulations to Joseph Evelyn Polito. The School of Education awards the Magis Leadership Award to those students who model exemplary leadership. These students inspire excellence in all endeavors through Magis, meaning more in Latin, a core value of our Jesuit University. This year's recipient is Aaron Bacchus. We will now move to the College of Health and Human Services. Students who exhibit learning, leadership, and service in communication sciences and disorders receive the Swells Award. This year's Swells Award for learning goes to Trudy Jacobs. For leadership, Alex Wilburn, and for service, Cameron Rotzmel. The Physics Medal is awarded to a student who has made outstanding contributions in the area of scholarship and service to physics. Congratulations, Isabella Salerno. The next awards are from the College of Business, Influence, and Information Analysis. The Dowling Oratory Medalist is the winner of a competition first established at Rockhurst in 1930. It honors Father Michael Dowling, founder and first president. This year's winner is Liliana Reyes. The Burke Extemporaneous Speaking Contest, held each spring, was begun in 1953 by the late Father Robert Ems, a professor of history, to honor a longtime friend of the university, Dr. Timothy Burke. This year's recipient of the Burke Extemporaneous Speaking Medal is Ricky Cade. The William A. Luby Mathematics Medal, named for a prominent Kansas City mathematics scholar and author, is awarded by the department faculty to outstanding students in mathematics and computer sciences. The recipients this year are Michaela Devenin, Cameron Keaton, and Noah Miller. The next award is the Dean's Highest Honor Award for Superior Academic Excellence. Congratulations goes to Peter Baker, Tessa Buckeit, Tyler Collins, and Adam Seal. 
The Undergraduate Award for Distinguished Leadership recognizes graduating seniors whose leadership accomplishments demonstrate the College of Business, Influence, and Information and Analysis mission of developing leaders of competence and conscience. Recipients serve as inspiring examples to make a positive difference in the world. Congratulations, Britta Glassell and Anthony Tegenkamp. The Undergraduate Award for Superior Service is presented to two graduating seniors who demonstrated concerted and prolonged service to Rockhurst, the College of Business, Influence, and Information Analysis in the surrounding community. This award recognizes one BSBA student and one BA students in economics. This year's recipients, congratulations, Connor Berry and Molly McKeon. We will now present the Student Development and Athletic Awards. We'd first like to highlight the vast amount of success that our athletic department has had. For the 10th consecutive year, Rockhurst received the NCAA President's Award for Academic Excellence for achieving four-year academic success rates of 90% or higher. Rockhurst finished with a 94% ASR in 2019-20, which ranks 20% higher than the average for all NCAA Division II student-athletes. Men's soccer coach Tony Toko and former women's volleyball coach Tracy Ritzke were inducted into the 2020 Missouri Sports Hall of Fame class. Toko ranks second in all-time men's college soccer coaching wins with 713, and Ritzke retired last April, ranked number four in women's college volleyball coaching wins, 1,277. Trent Jones was named the new volleyball coach last summer. Jones previously served nine years at the University of Missouri, Kansas City coaching staff. Hannah Schaefer collected first place honors to lead the women's cross country team to a second place finish at the GLBC Triangular last fall at Truman State. Rockhurst pulled off its biggest women's basketball win since becoming an NCAA member in 1998, posting a 75 to 69 victory over number one ranked Drury in Springfield, Missouri in early February. Haley Sullivan and Keegan Sullivan received women's basketball postseason honors from the GLBC. Daly was named to the all-GLBC second team. And Sister Keegan earned a spot on the GLBC's All-American freshman team. The men's basketball program celebrated its 100th anniversary. Senior Curtis Lewis was named to the all-GLBC second team and was named to the school's all-century team. Senior Charlton Offerman of Townsville, Australia is the first recipient of the Norman Major Player of the Year Award for Rockhurst Men's Basketball. The men's lacrosse team moved into the national rankings for the fourth consecutive season and reached as high as number 14 in the U.S. Intercollegiate Lacrosse Association poll. Women's soccer was voted the preseason favorite in the GLBC Coaches Preseason Poll. The Hawks are coming off back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances. Kansas City native Jamie McDonald was hired as the new head coach for the men's and women's tennis programs. Senior pitcher Lexi Storer and Olivia Prather led the softball team to a 16-10 start while receiving GLBC Pitcher of the Week honors. The men's and women's golf team both won the Kansas City Cup tournaments in Shoal Creek Golf Club in Kansas City last fall. More than 440 student athletes earned a combined 3.51 grade point average during the 2020 fall semester. Women's tennis posted the highest team GPA with a 3.89. Men's tennis had the highest team GPA among the men's teams with a 3.65. What a fantastic year all of those associated with the athletic department had. We have a great deal of which to be proud. Please refer to the online program to see the descriptions of the Student Development and Athletic Award and nominees. Nominations were made by students, faculty, and staff. Receiving a nomination is an extraordinary honor and one for which we should all be proud. 
The Student Senate and Student Activities Board presidents are presented with gavels for their year of hard work and service. These two leadership positions are equal parts challenging and rewarding. Thank you for your dedication, especially during a year that has had you reimagine all of your typical events, meetings, and activities. It did not go unnoticed that you and your peers went above and beyond. Please receive these gavels as appreciation of a job well done. Thank you to Forrest Rodebush, Student Senate President, and Natalia Khrushchev, Student Activities Board President. This student was nominated for this award because of her devotion to making Rockhurst a home for all through her passion for diversity and inclusion. She's very involved across campus, including involvement in Senate, BSU, Voices, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Committee, a resident assistant, a desk assistant, and more. She is well loved by the residents in McGee Hall and has worked hard to create an inclusive environment, especially for new and returning students of color. She's shown great leadership in her short two years here and is well deserving of this award. The Outstanding Support for Diversity Award goes to Brianna Merrill. The recipient of this award always shows up with a good attitude and is willing to do whatever task is asked. She's been a committed volunteer at Cherith Brooks and Jerusalem Farm this year. At the Jerusalem Farm Service Project, students were tasked with cleaning out a house that was in deplore conditions. She threw herself into the job. The, rash reached her, the trash reached her hip when we started that day, and by the time we left, the room was empty. Furthermore, Sarah participated in nearly every service opportunity offered this year. Congratulations to Sarah Wilson for earning the Outstanding Community Service Award. The recipient of the Outstanding Student Organization Award had to completely redesign every meeting, event, and activity they typically hold, and they hold nearly one a week. This group was told no more often than yes due to COVID restrictions and would go back to the drawing board. Due to their consistent efforts to plan inclusive programming on campus despite a new COVID lifestyle, SAB works tirelessly to engage with other student organizations to reach a wider range of students than ever before. Let's congratulate the Student Activities Board as the recipient of the Outstanding Student Organization. Our recipient of the Rising Star Award is an organization who's gone above and beyond the last year to provide support, resources, and fun activities to the Black student population and their allies. Through the waves of hate and discrimination throughout the country over the past year, BSU has been able to educate those around them while also providing hope and support for those who need it. Every single one of their e-board and general members have shown their commitment to diversifying Rockhurst and making it a true home for all. Let's honor the Black Student Union as the organization recipient of the Rising Star Award. For the first time ever, we have a second recipient of the Rising Star Award. This student has been an exceptional student leader since she first started the nursing program. Not only has she worked to help those in her own cohort, but she became a peer mentor, acts as a guide, a role model, and tutor for all nursing students. She's willing to go above and beyond any time anything is asked of her and is always asking what more she can do for her community and the university as a whole. Lauren is not just an outstanding nursing student, but an excellent student leader as well. Help me congratulate Lauren Thomas as a recipient of the Rising Star Award. The first recipient of the Living the Mission Emerging Student Leader Award is a sophomore who one might describe as a quiet leader until you get to know him. Through his role as an orientation leader and now coordinator, and also as a cross-country team member, he truly shows that he lives and demonstrates the mission to others. The recipient has gained confidence and leadership at Rockhurst and is always willing to help lend a hand. Matt volunteers to help recruit students to Rockhurst and often stresses how our core values and mission are lived daily by students, faculty, and staff. Help me congratulate Matthew Abeda as the recipient of the Living the Mission Emerging Student Leader Award. The second recipient is exceptionally involved around campus. She's a positive leader and one will almost always see her walking fast with a smile on her face. She's involved in orientation, student senate, Alpha Sigma Alpha, and cross country. She exemplifies two core values, modus and core personalis. 
For Maja, she goes the extra mile. She gives 100% in everything she does. Lauren also cares about others and displays core personality in working with her teammates and others on campus. Her positive energy and enthusiasm are contagious. Let's congratulate Lauren DeWitt as recipient of the Living a Mission Emerging Student Leader Award. The third recipient of the Emerging Student Leader Award was chosen because he has branched out to take on several leadership positions on campus. Not only did he organize a very successful fraternity recruitment during a global pandemic, but he was also an orientation leader and he is a newly serving on student senate. He is committed to his studies, balances all of his commitments and embraces and lives our core values. Let's congratulate Drew Hedrick as recipient of the Living a Mission Emerging Student Leader Award. The first recipient of the Living the Mission Advanced Student Leader Award is a student who I have seen grow the most over the last four years. His nominator says, he went from a CLC leader as a freshman who struggled a bit to a retreat on the rock coordinator who was all in. As a coordinator, he cared deeply about the retreat and it was evident through his actions, time and hard work. He's committed to and cares about his various leadership roles on campus and is a student who others look to as an example. He's also involved in Active Minds, Pi Kappa Alpha, and Orientation. Truly, Frank is a living example of Majus. Help me honor Frank Macias. The next recipient of the Living the Mission Advanced Student Leader Award is one of the best leaders on our campus. As president of Active Minds, she's an advocate for mental health awareness and cares deeply about each person with whom she connects. This recipient has been a retreat on the rock leader and coordinator, as well as a CLC leader and coordinator. She's involved in Alpha Sigma Alpha, as well as a liturgical minister. And he's a servant leader and leads with compassion, kindness, and authenticity. Let's congratulate Annie Murphy. The nominator of this outstanding student leader recipient said this student is thoughtful, organized, intelligent, takes charge, and needs no instruction to complete tasks. She's creative, settles for nothing less than 100% and lifts up others. She knows how to have difficult conversations and is able to confront not only her peers, but her superiors as well in an approachable and appropriate manner, in the manner that is always about the solution, not the problem. This leader was instrumental in completely redesigning orientation due to COVID and kept the team on task and even laughing through very challenging times. She's also an excellent nursing student involved in Alpha Sigma Alpha and campus ministry. Let's celebrate Castlin McNamara as a recipient of the Outstanding Student Leader Award. Our second individual receiving the Outstanding Student Leader Award was described as one of the most unique leaders on campus. Wise beyond her years, others focused, takes initiative while including others, gives praise when needed, and has one of the best attitude. She's positive, playful, organized, hilarious, bright, and keeps her eye on the prize. Her work ethic is like no other, and we are blessed she's a Rockhurst student, even though she's only been an undergraduate for three years because she will graduate early. She's truly amazing. Please help me congratulate Allison Bobo as a recipient of the Outstanding Student Leader Award. Our third recipient is a student leader who was described by her nominator as someone whose leadership continually exemplifies the mission and core values of the university. She demonstrates a quiet strength and embodies the quality of servant leadership. This leader has taken on opportunities to further her leadership skills, including a spot at the Blueford Healthcare Leadership Institute, where she earned 2019 Scholar, a 2020 Duke intern, and July 2020 participant in Introduction to Executive Leader in Biomedical. The past two years, she has grown great maturity and ability to articulate a collective vision for and with those she leads in the BSU. During her two terms as president, she has dealt with waves of national pain that were unprecedented in her generation towards black civilians, a pandemic that disproportionately affects communities of color, significant protests locally and nationally. She found ways to keep hope, communication, friendship, collaboration, productivity, and vision for the future alive. In addition to BSU, Evelyn's servant leadership and quiet strength has touched many other students through her work as a supplemental instructor leader for nursing chemistry and a tutor for various science courses. Please help me congratulate Evelyn Lomax as a recipient of the Outstanding Student Leader Award. The following award are sponsored by Student Senate and are voted on by the student body. The Hawk of the Year Award is designed to recognize one senior student However, this year there was a tie. The Hawk of the Year is given to two students who have proven to be a pillar in the community and who exemplify the qualities of learning, leadership, and service in the Jesuit tradition. 
These are individuals who lead by example, are compassionate, warm-hearted, put 100% into everything they do, who make a difference every day, and who have ultimately earned the respect of all fellow students at Rockhurst. They represent all the best this community has to offer and who make every day on campus a brighter day by simply being present. Help me congratulate Trudy Jacobs and Jamal Perkins, two truly deserving individuals for Hawk of the Year. This faculty member has been teaching at Rockhurst for more than 10 years. A Rockhurst alumna herself, she is one of the brightest examples of living up to the mission of our university. This faculty member especially embraces the value of core personalis. She's incredibly passionate about her students, her research, uh, and her advisees as well. She will go out of her way to help everyone to not only understand difficult concepts, but to feel better when they are down. She can see the good in every student and every person. Students feel comfortable to share with her, and she has often uplifted students and transformed their lives. She has an active research agenda that involves undergraduate research students as well. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Paula Morehouse for choice of faculty of the year by our students. This staff member recently reached her 30 year service milestone to Rockhurst. She's supportive of the Rockhurst mission, its students and faculty. She advances our mission through her leadership of the College of Arts and Sciences Christmas service project and reflection exercises during staff meetings. The staff member is service focused for which the university benefits because of her willingly extensive knowledge of Rockhurst. She's always willing to go above and beyond through activities such as serving staff for the core revision committee and the wisdom core implementation committee. She was selected as the recipient of the key service award for the 2019-2020 academic year. Mary's dedication to Rockhurst, the College of Arts and Sciences, students, faculty and peers is immeasurable. Faculty in the College of Arts and Sciences have shared that Mary embodies the very spirit of Rockhurst with her kind and thoughtful president. She enriches my day whenever I see her. Help me congratulate Mary Carey as a student's choice for staff member of the year. This concludes our Festival of Student Achievement Award ceremony. Please be sure to peruse the program online at rockhurst.edu backslash FOSA to review the hard work by all of our students and all of the nominees of the Student Development Awards. Congratulations again.